the United States national debt just surpassed $34 trillion. Long-term investors are looking at this debt and they're wondering, how might this impact my portfolio when I'm thinking about living in a country and investing in a country that has this much debt? How does this impact my long-term portfolio? And today, we're gonna briefly look at the last 50 years and see how has debt in the US and in other countries how does that impact long-term performance in the stock market? So let's dig in. This chart here goes back to 1975 and looks at stock market return going on the vertical axis or up and down from negative 50% all the way up to 150% on an annual basis. And then we've got our government debt as a percentage of GDP. So what does that mean? It means how much you owe versus how much you produce as a country. And that's all the way from 0%, so they don't owe anything, to 250%, which means they're essentially owing 250% of what they produce on any given year. And so how do countries, including the US, how do the markets perform given the level of country debt? Now, all these other colors that are slightly muted, these are other countries, the US is in black. Now, what many people might assume or think is that if you have a really high level of debt relative to your GDP, that's not great for the stock market. And so what that would mean is as the dots move over to the right as a higher government debt, you would see the dots start to drop. And so you'd have a sloping line of dots going from up and to the left, down and to the right, because you would think the higher the government debt, the worse the stock market does year to year. And what we see here is that's not really the case. These dots are random, right? There is no downward sloping line. So what does that mean? Well, it means for us as investors, when we're looking at investing in countries, whether it's the United States or other countries, the level of debt does not necessarily imply that the countries are going to be positive or negative. So why is that? Well, it's important to remember, we'll just use the US market. When we're looking at the US debt and we're investing in the market, these are different things. Now, if you're investing in the US treasury bond market, that is kind of like investing in the US debt. And so if you don't feel comfortable with the level of US debt and the government's ability to repay, maybe stay away from government bonds. But otherwise, when you're investing in the stock market, you are not investing in the United States necessarily. You are investing in the companies in the United States who have year over year gotten pretty good at continuing to make a profit and grow their earnings. And so going into 2024, you're going to be hearing plenty of news, and this is pretty much just ongoing, about the level of debt, 34 trillion and rising, we're gonna hit 35, we're gonna hit 40, and how long can this continue? Candidly, I'm not an economist, I do not know, but how does this impact your long-term investment returns? Not in the way you might think. And so what's most important is to focus on your long-term plan, understand the investments that you own, and why you own them. I hope you found this helpful. And as always, thanks for investing your time with the personal CFO.